And it's a definite integral, so if we change to the new variable u, we need to also change our limits of integration. This is a common mistake people make. If you're going ahead and doing the definite integral as is, when you get it in terms of the new variable, u in this case, you need to change those limits of integration for definite integrals. You don't have to do it for indefinite ones. If du is 7 dx, then dx is going to be 1 7th du. So the dx gets re replaced by 1 7th du. This 4 plus 7x gets replaced by u itself. We've got 1 over the square root of u. That's the same as u to the negative 1 half power. Don't forget your 1 7th. And again, change your limits of integration. How? We need to use the equation that defines the new variable. When x is 0, plug in x equals 0 there, you'll get u is 4. And when x is 3, plug in x equals 3 here, you'll get 7 times 3 is 21, plus 4 is u equals 25. Now we can do this integral straight away.